Okay, so before I begin, I'm going to actually include this file. So I'll put it in the show notes. So if anybody wants this file and all of the different identifying the triangles and quadrilaterals just for reference, I'll put a PDF file link to it. All right, okay, let's get back to the video. All right, so hi, welcome to this video on identifying the various triangles and quadrilaterals. Now at some point in your, I guess, educational career, probably in elementary school, you've gone in through numerous triangles and quadrilaterals and you know, kind of you go through them and then they slip your mind, right? So every time you gotta be able to come back. Now this content is actually kind of going through numerous items related to grade 10 math, which I'm gonna be using this information on these triangles and quadrilaterals in identifying them when you have a Cartesian plane, so an X, Y axis. So I wanna be able to review these items that you see here on the left uh, with you so that you can identify all the different triangles and quadrilaterals. So what are they? Well, the simplest one is the equilateral triangle, which basically is one where all the sides are identical and then all the angles are identical. So that shouldn't really surprise you. So that's one of them. The second one, which is also kind of very common, is when you have two sides that are identical and then the two angles are identical. So that's what you see right here. So here's the angles and the sides. Now this particular triangle is called an isosceles triangle. Now a third triangle, which is also an isosceles triangle, but it's a special kind. The special kind is that it has a 90 degree angle, which is formed on the side, okay, as you see right there. Now that isosceles right triangle obviously goes hand in hand with the regular isosceles triangle. It's just a little bit more uh, specific. Now, one other item, okay, with regards to these triangles is just a simple right angle triangle. So now this right triangle just simply means that it has only one angle that has just a 90 degree and then none of the sides are exactly the same and then the other two angles are not the same either. So that's called just the right triangle. Now when nothing is in common in a triangle, then we just typically call it a scalene triangle. So that's what you have there. So those are the different types of triangles that you might run into. And we're gonna have to know these little properties of these triangles if we're gonna wanna be able to identify them, say from a, a given example, drawing on an, a Cartesian plane or from just points. Now, in terms of quadrilaterals, so again, kind of the simplest one is for sure your square. Now in your square, obviously all the angles are 90 degrees, all the sides are the same. And of course, the opposite sides are also parallel to each other. So that is just simply a square. Now the extension of the square is a rhombus. And for that is all the sides are identical. All of the angles that are opposite each other are identical. So unlike a square where they're all 90 degrees, here they're not 90 degrees. So you have, for example, these two angles are identical to each other. And you also have these two angles that are identical to each other. And that makes it a rhombus. So that is a quadrilateral special kind. Now, moving over, so we have a parallelogram. So you may recall that a parallelogram, well, basically the opposite sides are parallel to each other. And also the opposite sides are equal to each other. And the other component of a parallelogram is that the angles, the opposite angles are also identical to each other, just like they were in a rhombus. Okay, so this is what you have here. Now the difference from a rhombus here is that the sides are not all identical. All right, so that's a parallelogram. Of course, the special case of a parallelogram is just a simple rectangle. And everybody pretty much knows that a rectangle just has 90 degree angles and then the opposite sides are equal. All right, so that's what you have there. Now, a trapezoid that you see here, so you see two trapezoids on the screen, so just a general trapezoid, uh, is 
the most basic one where you have kind of two parallel sides and then the opposite sides are not parallel at all because if they were parallel then we'd have had a parallelogram so in this case they're not parallel to each other so you just have one um, of the sides that are parallel and we call that a trapezoid now this trapezoid just below it which is called an isosceles trapezoid kind of like from the isosceles triangle so what happens here it's a regular um, trapezoid where you have your parallel lines so these are parallel right here and now what happens is that you have you know these special properties where you have these two angles right here they're identical to each other and then you have also these two angles that are identical to each other and notice that the sides are also equal that's known as an isosceles trapezoid so the last one okay that i have which is kind of a special one is uh, one which looks like a kite and in here when you do have a kite then you have these two sides are the same and then also these two sides are the same and what's kind of neat about this is that these angles are also the same so that's what you have there so that's a special quadrilateral and now an irregular one where nothing is in common so this is your final one uh, this is just a, a regular quadrilateral or sometimes called an irregular quadrilateral where no angles no sides um, are identical to each other uh, they're not parallel to each other per se all right so that's what you have there so i wanted to review this before i jump into um, doing some examples in a cartesian plane and then identifying these within here all right so i'll do that in the next video okay that you will see and i'm going to be linking it to this one okay thanks for watching see you in a future video bye everybody